All right, I'm all uh, set up to do some testing with uh, power probe, a headlamp bulb, and a low amp clamp. So I've got the low amp clamp set up on the PicoScope to read the amperage draw of the circuit that I'm working on. So you can see when I power up the headlamp bulb, uh, it settles out at around four and a half amps. So you can see the dotted line I've got set up there is right around five amps. So the headlamp bulb after the inrush current settles at about four and a half. <clears throat> so now we take just a standard test light and touch it to the bulb or the power side. It lights the test lamp and we've got about a 200 milliamp draw on that circuit from just the test lamp alone. You can see when we use the power probe we have basically nothing. And you can see there's power on both sides because that bulb is not grounded. Just like you can light a test light on both sides because that bulb's not grounded. So we ground the bulb, we get a nice big inrush current, and we're at four and a half amps. Touch the positive side with the test light. We get another 200 milliamps from the test light. There it's going away. And we touch the ground side, and it doesn't light the test lamp because it's grounded and no voltage available. You can see that. Test lamp again, test lamp off, power probe, I've got power here, and it doesn't affect the amperage of that circuit at all, and on the ground side, it measures ground, and it doesn't affect the amperage of that circuit any, any bit. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody that to uh, let you know how safe it is to use power probe and also why it's not awesome for verifying the integrity of a circuit without loading it. So I can actually load it with the test lamp and you can see the voltage drop as I load it. And you can see the amperage increase there also. So when I'm doing circuit testing, I'm either using this, which is a test light and the power probe, with the test light hooked to the power probe's ground lead, or on higher amp circuits, I'm using this headlamp bulb, because uh, that'll pull four and a half amps and verify the integrity of most high amp circuits. Uh, I hope this, this helps somebody out and helps you understand how the power probe works a little bit. Um, you know, and everybody's pretty well used to the normal functions of a power probe, apply power, can apply ground make that bulb come on so I hope that helps you wrap your head around that a little bit and gives you an example of the capabilities of this real handy tool as long as you don't let it lie to you and you understand how it works